it does look good, doesn't it? And it is good. By the way, did you know that in certain stores, grocery stores, when the ice cream is close to expiration, to the expiration date, they will have two for one sales. And I like that because that's when I buy my ice cream. Of course, I will not mention the brand. I won't do that. But anyway, this has to do with mixing of flavors. A lot of people are very afraid of that. And I would say, don't be afraid to mix different flavors. We're talking about mango jello. We're talking about mandarin oranges. And we're talking about ice cream. In this case, it's a very simple thing. In case you're not familiar with Jello, you use Jello and you put it in a container and you add one cup of boiling water to the Jello. And the next thing is you need to do is to mix it thoroughly for about two minutes. That's what I suggest. After mixing for about two minutes, mixing the jello in boiling hot water for about two minutes, you then add cold water, one cup of cold water. Some people will add ice cubes if they want the jello to set even faster than overnight. Doesn't matter. I simply add cold water to my jello because I can wait until tomorrow morning. Once you've added the cold water, of course, then you mix thoroughly again because you want everything to be mixed thoroughly. Then, in my case, I use little plastic containers with mandarin oranges in it. And then once I had the containers with the oranges, about six containers, I think, then I added my liquid jello, just like this, and I prepared them and place them in the refrigerator to sit overnight. The following day, meaning today, mmm, a mixture of flavors and textures. And it was inexpensive and delicious. Can you imagine that? Jello, mango jello, mandarin orange, and cherry vanilla ice cream. Mmm, boy, it was so good.